Hello, hello, good morning. How are you today? I hope all is well. I just kind of wanted to do a day in the life of a clinical social worker quarantine edition. We are, you know, working from home now, many of us, and so I just thought I'd show you what my morning looks like. So, as you saw, I basically just it, it hasn't been formal of a routine to be honest I've simply you know get up tend to my son uh, you know today was a little bit different because Kiana went grocery shopping so that's why I was a bit more hands-on with him today uh, I found myself feeding him breakfast which was cool um, we had sausage and <laughs> it was really not like a cohesive preference I mean we had sausage toast Ash browns uh, and um, applesauce. Um, so that's a yogurt. I don't know, but we did, and it was good. So I usually start my day by, you know, checking my email, checking my voicemail, and then working on my to-do list. So I had a meeting yesterday with um, a colleague who I feel is serving more of like a manager to me but um they do not have that title so <laughs> they hate when i say that um but uh we just been brainstorming um different things and so um we have a to-do list and so i can share that with you all and just kind of bring you all along <music> Hey, so I just got through checking my email and there were quite some um, inquiry about, you know, helping students navigate online learning, especially international students who is very much so used to face to face um, resources as well as, you know, additional resources being given to them as uh ESL or something like that um, second um, English learner so I think that um, or English is the second language so um, we were just kind of brainstorming and troubleshooting you know ways to help some of our students who you know English is not their first language and you know all of the resources that they originally had in person are now not necessarily available to them so we'll kind of see um i just came up with another idea there's an international department that usually provide like additional resources in a specific class so i'm going to inquire about that being transitioned online because or you know there being face to face times where students can bring their work and like work on it virtually there because again it's a lot and then i have emails i need to send out to Hey, so as you can hear, my son is up from his nap. I had my two o'clock, well, I had a one o'clock appointment, and that person uh, was about, well, I waited about 20 minutes before giving them a call. They answered, but they were driving, so we rescheduled their appointment. Uh, well, I said I would just follow. So I'm just waiting to hear. I did not have a lunch, so I'm going to take a lunch and spend some time with my son. 
So we are doing this fine motor activity. Oh, I think that the make the tank better. <laughs> that Kiana <laughs> found DJ keeps on taking Pinterest. it off. That's why the tank looks and like that. And it's pretty cool. You like put you could put smaller items through the top one and then fall into the other one. He did it successfully once, but I didn't get yeah, it he on did camera. It many times. Many times. Keeps... I wasn't here for the many times, but I did see it a few look, times. Look, DJ, this, you're getting the, the palms that are too big. Yeah, this is just kind of what my break looks like at home. Look, do it again. Do it again. Hey, you all. Hope your day went well. I am in my restroom. But I just kind of wanted to, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So at the end of the day, I basically just, you know, check my emails. I made sure to create a to-do list for tomorrow. I check in with my supervisor on, I think we said Wednesdays and Fridays. So I will be updating her on what I need to do or what I've done so far. And then kind of come up with the to-do list. Um, Moving forward, but today uh, was a pretty straightforward day. I'm not really sure how um, tomorrow will go, um, but you know, really, I'm just on standby. I am, you know, here to establish or reestablish services with students and then continuing to provide ongoing support. And so that's what I'm doing. There's a lot of online communication. There's a lot of brainstorming, just kind of providing my insights when needed from other faculty and staff members. So I think that is basically it. So I am going to get off of here and enjoy my wife and my son and just have a good evening. So uh, let me know in the comment section below what has it been like for you working from home? I know for me, it's nice to be in the same proximity as family it's nice to you know be nearby if you know it's and, and you know your family's safe um because as like as a you know provider and protector like those are things i think about you know you think about you know is someone breaking in or you know you, you just want to make sure that everybody's safe and so at least with you being here you know that people are safe So as you can see, we get DJ a bath, we ran a bedtime story, got them all dressed up, and put them down, and now we are getting ready to have dinner. I have a to dance tonight, and we are going to have some TLC. So thanks so much for watching, and until I- He's a sucker for love! I am a sucker for love. Thanks so much for watching, and until I see you next time, be you, be friends. Thank you.